This one's a little different. I I don't even know where to start. I think the name and the cover should go first. Ant Farm Dickhole isn't a random combination of words because lol so random is funny. It's because during this fucking extraordinary movie, our main fella, Ant Drew, <sighs> gets a queen ant in his bell end, causing people to die when they go near this fucking Adonis of a man through various means. Throw in a dash of Z-grade ultra-low budget movies like... S stiff odds. See so my video for that here. A sprinkle of... No, fuck that. The whole entire jar of nudity. Considering this movie was shot in 360p, we get to see arsehole hair. That's how explicit we're talking. We see bum all hair in this. Ass monsters. Yep, this, this DVD is a double feature on one poor bit of pl plastic. I haven't watched that yet. You know, Ant Farm Dick all kind of takes it out of you. It's directed by Bill Zabu... <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> Who's had a hand in a few groundbreaking films such as the worst horror movie ever made, Metal Retardation, Dick Shark, a film your dad would love, and the revolutionary Jesus the Total Douchebag. So we know the kind of caliber of people we're dealing with here. This, this is how it usually goes. A few friends get together, make a film just to kill some time because they're either drunk or stoned or whatever. And then somehow it gets released. And then fast forward seven years and here I am talking about Ant Farm Dickhole. The chap I brought it off, funny enough, actually messaged me beforehand and said, look, I'm not responsible for what you watch. <laughs> Here's a screenshot, like, um, but don't worry, insert your name here. <laughs> I'll look after this film. <laughs> that, that flew. That was... <laughs> oh shit, Planet Earth's camera work has gone downhill. Aren't we lucky? So we get introduced to these two chaps, Ant Drew and Ant for me. Kill me, please. The way my luck's been going, I'm gonna lose all that too. Can't you say anything positive? It's hard to be positive when I'm so stressed out. Well, cheer up, fellas. It's not like you two 30-year-old chaps who are sitting in the middle of a wood for no fucking reason are gonna get a wedgie by a 40-year-old bully and have your money taken. What a strangely specific thing to say. I wonder if this was all a setup because when the thing actually happens, I can go, oh, the shock. Let yourself relax. Or maybe not. Maybe I was wrong and I don't know. I don't know anything about what I'm doing. He didn't study in a book. Why? So the bully mugs the ant boys. A fucking cupcake. Yo, he just smashed man's cupcake. Quickly throw yourself at his fist to hurt him. <laughs> and as the strange man lies on the floor, I can't do this. The, the, the queen ant spots her new potential inhabitants and starts her voyage to start a new life. In his fucking dick. So now the premise has been set, let's talk about a few things. Throughout this entire movie, there are scenes that the people are clearly just going off script, or wasn't given one when they talk, which is fine. It can give movies a different style, which can work, but not in Ant Farm Dickhole. There's even a scene when Anthony clearly fucks up, talks too early, and you can see his reaction, but he's told to just keep going instead of cutting and reshooting. I still need that you really care. I still think it's... Sometimes qualities don't come out until they're needed. I still think it's brainwiring. Even with all of its flaws, this movie still needs to be seen to be believed. Like, let's just carry on. Uh oh. I think he stole my car too. They don't just go repark themselves, you know. We shouldn't even call this a park. We should call this a stolen. Ah, nearly got me, movie. You're gonna have to be quicker than that to get me pulled off YouTube. I mean,. Like, demonetized. Sure, that's... that That's a given. We get a solid three-minute strip tease, complete with titties, and also a bush. And it's all finished off... Sex word! With a blowjob. Until the worst thing happens. <laughs> no, not teeth. Nor this cunt sex face. <laughs> S 
spitters are quitters, my love. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, there's there's that bum hole I mentioned earlier. You know, you guys can't see this, but just appreciate that I've censored it. YouTube, I'm trying. Fuck off. So the answer killing her while he's jumping up and down like a dickhead. Oh, did I imagine all that? Those ants attack her? Ah, shit! Get away from me! So Andrew is so nonchalant about this whole fucking scenario. He just shrugged it off and goes to tell the police. On the way, he gets bullied again. Does this ever happen to anyone? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh! What the fuck? You got ants in your pants! That's what happens. A joke can backfire on you. Joke? What joke? What are you talking about? Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Control, pest control, something! Get them off! There's way too many of them to deal with! He's still doing it. Hey, you... Hey, 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 are you leaving? Can you, can you take us with you, please? When people think of some- I got it. So this lady is a person who does a thing, who's telling people they should sunbathe in the woods, in the shade. Come along with me. Fuck off. Shit, I've been doxxed. Ants in your pants. Ew! I don't want them to be inside me! These up close camera angles are really jarring and they make me feel uncomfortable. I suffer from premature ejaculation. Good for you. Keeny then. You're right because men are very visually stimulated. Women are too. Yes, but in our species... I knew a kid who was like this at school. He was a dick to... This is a true story. He actually rang the police into school because I killed him on RuneScape the night before and didn't give him his stuff back. I could have had a criminal record for digital violence. I don't fucking know. Oh, speaking of which, did you find anything on the internet? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit off. So we get back to Andrew wanking. It's clearly a fight cock, but I don't, I don't know how to go about this. And I'm then pops out and he pieces it all together that this, this fucking untapped potential can be used for evil. The bullies tried to use you as a weapon against me. But when you whip out your weapon, you better know how to use it. Just please put your dick away. <laughs> what the fuck is actually going on? What, genuinely? I've saw some bizarre shit and you know, People have suggested some films going, huh, you'll never guess what No, that doesn't matter. I've watched Ant Farm Dick Hole. You've watched Ant Farm Dick Hole. I don't have a fucking clue what can top this, to be honest. I mean, after this is ass monsters, but I'm watching that shit. I am not watching that shit. Maybe one day, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Oh, for fuck's sake! There's just so many things wrong with this scene, so here's a list. Are we done? Okay. I'm not very well today. I woke up with a cold, and I'm still making a video. of spontaneous human combustion. I wish I was on fire right now. Large amounts of formic acid. Large amounts, blah, 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 blah. shut the fuck up, we don't care. So, Anthony and the, um, what's her name? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> so, Anthony and Andrea, uh, sorry, Aunt Drea, are talking about what they should do with Aunt Drew. This is, this is getting ridiculous now. Yeah, now that's that's when it's getting ridiculous, Josh, you fucking idiot. So Andrew finds this bird with some major knockers in the shower. He slowly piles things up so he can reach the window. Just so he can rub one out and the ants then kill her. Just just admire this. This is what I would look like if you were the victim of a terrorist. Please, Murphy, just just give me a sec. No, 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 not a clue. I'm beginning to worry about this movie. It's of nature. Yep, it's it's lost it. What the 
fuck? Quick! Strip off and run away from those tiny ants. What? What? What the fuck are you doing? So the cop comes to see Aunt Drew about his girlfriend. Were you dating a girl named Aunt Jilla? No. Oh. Piss off. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but it seems your girlfriend's been the target of terrorists. Well, I'm sorry to tell you this, officer. You are one sweaty bastard. So Anthony's talking about how to get rid of the ants, but he forgets that he's talking to an actual arse. That's right. Everything all right? No wacky shit, nothing. Just out, out off the wall, straight, no? Okay. Excuse me. Ah! Here it is. Guys, look. Look at the- Look at these happy faces. Don't you think it'd be better to take this someplace more private? No way, I like metal. You have good taste. Have you ever watched a woman ruin her acting career by signing up for a film she knew nothing about, having to give this guy a blowjob with like four inches of solid plastic? No. You're welcome. We're all in this together now. You are part of whatever the fuck this is. She then pulls a little vial of red ants out of her. Must be her arsehole. Can you guys do me a favour? Like, I, I would really appreciate this. Just go to one of your friends, go to somebody that you know, a family member, whoever, and just explain this film to them. And just write down their reaction or just tell me their reaction because I genuinely need this. I've, I, I've told people and they've just gone, hmm. like they, they're used to it. Get an outsider's perspective and I fucking need this, guys, please. No. Oh fuck, is she dead? And then these two do, you know what, I, I don't even know. Anthony has somehow got an ant eater in his backpack and he pulls it out. And while Aunt Drew is asleep, well, this. <laughs> Anthony explains what happened to Aunt Drew. This is, this is so difficult. Sexy. Well, that's not my personality. My personality's up here. <laughs> well, it that didn't seem right. Hey, hey, you, you was watching. Have you noticed that girls have butts? Look, look, there's there's a butt right there. I'm not lying. It would be involuntary. Though. Oh my god! That wasn't planned. Because that is half the movie's budget right there, gone on a fucking chair. So the Queen Ant leaves Andrew's dick to talk to him, and then crams it back home. These two plan what to do next. So mean that you really care. I still think it's. Sometimes qualities don't come out until they're needed. You fucked up, didn't ya? Look at his face. Should we redo this? Nah, it's fine. Just, just carry on. It's Ant Farm dick all who fucking cares. We go back to Andrew and the bully has brought back up and it's about to go down. You like to kill girls? How do I kill you like a girl? You're too ugly to be a girl. How will he ever recover from a burn like that? Listen, it's not gonna be that delicious artificially grape flavor. Boy, I see you. I don't know what that, what are you doing? The raid, you ain't shit, homie. Look at this. So the Ant Boys have made up. You have to learn that no means no. Anthony then goes to the bathroom and in a long drawn out scene, he's messing with tissue, which I thought it was some weird way that he was going to wipe his ass, but instead, he was apparently using pesticides to kill the ants whilst Ant Drew took a shit? He then comes out and he asks about it and Anthony then claims that it's moonshine. 
No, I like to suck my dick. He then goes back to whatever the fuck her aunt name was. Aunt, aunt Dre, aunt Drea, I think. I, I can't remember. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna scroll up like two whole scrolls to go and check her name. I don't give a fuck. Mothers lock up your daughters. I am an absolute fiend. Say something and I'll harmonize with you. Let's just go. Ah, uh, open your mouth and say ah. Uh. Uh. Then Aunt Drew listens to some music and he puts his earphone in his cock so the ants can listen to it. So this is going to be hard to believe, but this movie doesn't really know how to finish and it doesn't really have an ending. So Anthony goes to the scientist lady. I am a black belt in Ant Kido. Fucking get out. So the cop from earlier finds Aunt Drew, but the bully knocks him out. You fag, they're just antagonizing me even more. So whilst Andrew is unconscious because he got beat up, the bully puts a firework in his cock. He then drinks the pesticide. I thought Anthony had took it with him, but whatever, and he, he dies. Then Andrew shoots up a bar. And he then dies too. It's a good thing that the liberals in this state didn't enforce their gun control laws on us. I'm sorry, but I don't think a film called Ant Farm Dickhole is a good fucking platform to make a political statement about the laws, you absolute ant farms. You thought I was going to say dicks. <laughs> then Anthony reaps the rewards of something that he didn't do. Like, you know, he didn't help at all and his friend actually just died. So he munches on a cunt box for like five minutes. But in an absolute twist of events, she has an ant in her pussy. Like... There wasn't a single damn scene that them two were together. Her and Aunt Drew. But... Fuck! Then another girl gets attacked by a giant spider. We don't know who this is. This has got... Spiders, spiders weren't really... <laughs> and then people spray silly farm all over her, which turns into cotton wool. And the spider fucks her. That's what happened. I'm not trying to make a funny... That, that's what happens for the last... Five minutes of this film, like, like it's it's putting a trailer for another film before the end of the credits of this film, but it's not the second film. That's what the fuck? It's over. I see credits. I don't care that the time bar says another hour and a half. This movie is done. I'm done. Let's go to the bit where I talk about the shit at the end and then go home. Even though I'm already home. What the actual fuck? No, no, seriously. Fuck, fuck the music. Stop it, Josh. I haven't got an editor. It's just me. Why are you talking to yourself? Bad movies try the law so random thing far too often and it comes off obvious and fake and quite annoying. Rarely while watching a film do I ever just sit there and actually say, What the actual fuck? As much as this movie does, it lacks any structure. Scenes fly in from nowhere. People change their whole demeanor scene to scene. So you never can read what's going to happen and never really relate to anyone. That's not the point. This is our farm dick. Oh, come on. The script, even if there is one, was clearly ignored by the people that were just talking. The music can be overbearing and makes it hard for people to hear. The camera angles were just plain bad. The editing was sporadic and all over the place. This whole movie is a bizarre experience. And that's why I honestly think that this... This is something you need to watch. Not should, need to. Seriously. So that was Ant Farm Dick Hole and what a fucking experience that was. If you have been traumatised or offended by this video in any way, shape or form, um, grow up. You are being offended by something that is fictional. <laughs> um, so thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you for all the support. Um, if you have any suggestions, drop them in the comments. If I make a video, I'll give you guys a shout out. Um, apart from that, I am recovering from a cold, so I'm going to go and have a lens soup. Um, thank you. Uh, my name is Josh. I don't have a sign-off, so go away. And you know what? I brought all these ants. All these ants. And I didn't do anything, anything with them. <laughs>